athletes like you are going to love the Forerunner 945, the premium GPS running and triathlon watch that is designed to help you go the distance. In this video, we will show you how to set up and start using your Forerunner 945. First, let's take a look at the device. On the top left, you'll see the light key which you'll use to control the backlight and also access the controls menu. Hold the light key to access the controls menu. Here, you can lock the device, access the Garmin Pay Wallet, trigger assistance, and more. Below that are the up and down keys. These help you navigate the different menus, data screens, and widgets. Holding the down key will allow you to quickly access the onboard music player. On the top right is the start stop key, which in addition to starting, pausing, and stopping timed activities, will allow you to make menu selections. Finally, on the bottom right is the back key. Pressing it will return you to the previous screen, or during timed activities, press it to mark a lap. When you turn on your device for the first time, you'll be prompted to enter your language preference. Then it will ask you if you want to pair it with your smartphone. If you select yes, you can pair it and complete the setup through the Garmin Connect app. Pairing with the app will sync all of your user profile settings as well as Physio TrueUp preference to 945 and is the quickest way to set up your new device. If you select no, you can complete the setup on the watch and pair with your phone later. If you choose to continue setting your watch without your smartphone, you'll now enter your preferred unit of measurement and time format. Finally, you'll answer a few questions about yourself, such as birth year, height, and weight before setup is complete. After completing the setup in the Garmin Connect app, the 945 can use a virtual wallet to make contactless payments, allowing you to leave your cards and cash at home. You can access this wallet from the controls menu. When you start on the watch's time of day screen, you can access all of the features built into the Forerunner 945. For example, press the up or down key to cycle through preloaded widgets including performance, training status, health stat, and more. Remember, you can customize the widget loop by accessing the settings menu. More on that in a minute. You can also hold the up key to access the menu from any screen. Here, you can customize your watch face, access alarms, and other settings. By scrolling down to settings, you can customize the activities and apps list, the widget loop, and other preferences. Press the start key to bring you to the run home screen. Press the down key to see some of the other activities that 945 supports. Or press and hold the up key to access the menu. In the menu, you can update your preferences for the current activity, such as changing data screens or setting up an alert. To start an outdoor run, just press start to enter the activity profile loop. Your watch will vibrate to let you know when GPS is ready. This normally takes just a few moments. Press start one more time to begin your activity. During the activity, you can scroll up or down through the data screen to view important stats like distance, time, pace, as well as your heart rate. When you finished your activity, press stop. From here, you can either restart the timer and continue running or scroll down to save your activity and view your activity summary data such as aerobic and anaerobic training effect scores, suggested recovery time, and more. The Forerunner 945 also offers the ability to store and play music when paired with compatible Bluetooth headphones. You can sync music from your computer using Garmin Express or download music from third-party services using a Connect IQ music app. After you load music to Forerunner 945, Hold the down key to access the music player. Press the start key to play your music. Press up to access more music controls such as volume, shuffle, and repeat. Hold up to access the music player menu and manage music providers or headphones. 
For more information on using your 4Runner 945, visit support.garmin.com. 4Runner 645 has the tools to help you bring your performance up to speed. In this video, we'll show you how to start using your new GPS running watch. The first time you power on the smartwatch, you'll be prompted to select your language. Then you can complete the easy setup process. It will walk you through how to get your smartwatch up and running and even pair it with your phone. Now, let's look at your new watch. On the top left, you'll see the light key, which you'll use to activate the backlight and to access the controls menu. Hold the light key to access the controls menu, which you can use to turn on Do Not Disturb, lock your device, and access your virtual wallet to make contactless payments. Below that are the up and down keys. These help you navigate through the different menus, data screens, and widgets. For example, from the watch face, press the up or down key to cycle through preloaded widgets, including heart rate, performance, music, smart notifications, and more. On the top right is the start-stop key. In addition to starting, pausing, and stopping timed activities, use this key to make menu selections. Finally, on the bottom right is the back key. Press it to return to the previous screen, or during timed activities, press it to mark a lap. To access the menu, press and hold the up key. In the menu, you can update your preferences for the currently selected activity, such as changing data screens or setting up an alert, or access general settings for your watch. On compatible models, press and hold the down key to quickly access music controls from anywhere, including during timed activities. To go for a run, press the Start key. From the Run Home screen, wait until GPS is ready or press the Start key to enter the data screen loop. The watch will vibrate to let you know when GPS is ready. This normally takes just a few moments. Press the Start key again and run. During your run, you can scroll up or down through the data screens to view important stats such as distance, time, pace, as well as your heart rate. When you're finished with your activity, press stop. From here, you can either restart the timer and continue running or scroll down to save your activity. After you save, you'll be shown your achievements, such as personal records or a new VO2 max, a suggested recovery time, and a summary of what you just accomplished. Thanks for watching. To learn more about 4Runner 645, check out the other videos in this series. The 4Runner 45 and 4Runner 45S make it easy to take your running to the next level. Let's learn about the watch's basic functions and get ready for your first run. Start by making sure your watch is fully charged. Now let's get familiar with the keys. The one on the top left is the power and backlight key. Press it to turn on the backlight. Hold it to access the controls menu. There you can power off the watch, lock the keys, request assistance, and more. Use the up and down keys on the left of the watch to scroll through the widget loop or navigate through the data fields or device menus. Holding the up key will access the menu. Holding the down key will access the controls for the music player on your smartphone. On the top right is the start stop key, which in addition to starting, pausing, and stopping timed activities, you'll use to make menu selections. Finally, on the bottom right is the back key. Pressing it will return you to the previous screen, or during timed activities, press it to mark a lap. 
When you turn on your device for the first time, you will be asked a few setup questions. You'll be prompted to enter your language preference. Then it will ask you if you want to pair it with your smartphone. If you select yes, you can pair it and complete the device setup through the Garmin Connect app. Pairing with the Garmin Connect app will allow you to sync your user profile settings and is the quickest way to set up your watch. If you select no, you can complete the setup on the device and pair with the phone later. If you choose to continue setting your watch without your smartphone, you'll now enter your preferred unit of measurement and time format. Finally, you'll answer a few questions about yourself, such as birth year, height, and weight before setup is complete. Starting on your watch's time of day screen, you can access all of the features built into your Forerunner. For example, press the up or down key to cycle through preloaded widgets including health stats, my day, last run, and more. Remember, you can customize the widget loop by accessing the settings menu. You can also hold the up key to access the menu right from the time of day screen. Here, you can customize your watch face, access alarms, and other settings. By scrolling down to settings, you can customize the widget loop, watch face, and much more. Now, we'll take a look at the activity and customization options on your Forerunner 45 or 45S. Press the start key to bring you to the run home screen. Press the down key to see some of the other activities your Forerunner supports. You can customize the list of activity profiles in the Garmin Connect app. Press Start to select an activity profile. Press Down to see more options such as selecting a workout, customizing your data screens, and more. To start an outdoor run, just press Start to select an activity profile. Press Start once more to enter the data screen loop. Your watch will beep and vibrate to let you know when GPS is ready. This normally takes just a few moments. Press the Start key again to begin your activity. During the activity, you can scroll up or down through the data screens to view important stats like distance, time, and pace. When you've finished your activity, press Stop. From here, you can either restart the timer and continue running, or scroll down to save your activity. After you save, you'll be shown the activity summary data. This includes distance, activity time, and pace data. You're now ready for your first run. For more information on using your Forerunner 45 series, visit support.garmin.com.
Take on any challenge with the rugged outdoor GPS watch built to withstand the toughest environments. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with your instinct. First, turn on and set up your device using Garmin Connect. Now, let's take a look at the watch. The button functions are labeled on the watch for reference. Single press functions are on the display lens, and the bezel shows hold functions. Press the GPS button to open the activity list. You'll also use this button to select items and start and stop activities. Press and hold to see your GPS coordinates and save your location. Press the back button to go back, or press and hold it to view the clock menu. From here you can set alarms, timers, and more. Press the light button at any time to turn the backlight on and off. Press and hold the control button to view the controls menu. From here you can turn on do not disturb mode, lock the keys, and turn the device off. Press the up and down buttons to scroll through menu items. If you press them from the main watch face, you can cycle through your widgets. Press and hold the ABC button to see altimeter, barometer, and compass information. Press and hold the menu button from different screens to view options for customizing your watch. Hold it on the main watch screen to customize the watch face. Open a widget and hold the button to customize the widget options. Or hold it from the controls menu to add, remove, and reorder items. Check out the other videos in this series to learn more about using Instinct. Thanks for watching. This video will guide you through the simple process of setting up your Forerunner 735 XT and going for a run. First, make sure your watch is fully charged. The first time you use your 735 XT, it will ask you some basic questions to set up your user profile. Here you can set your language and user preferences. Let's get better acquainted with the keys on your watch and some of its basic functions. The power key is located toward the top left of the watch face. Press the power key to turn the backlight on and off. To turn the watch on and off, press and hold. On the top right of the watch face is a key with a start-stop icon. Press this one to start and stop the timer. This is also the key you will use to choose an option or acknowledge a message on screen. Take a look at the lap back key with the looped arrow on the lower right side. When navigating menu screens, press this key to return to the previous screen. Finally, there are two arrow keys on the bottom left side. Press these keys to scroll up or down through options, widgets, data screens, and settings. Press and hold the up arrow key to view the shortcuts menu. Press and hold the down arrow key when you've started one activity to switch to another activity profile while the timer keeps running, for example, during a brick workout. Hold the up arrow key, then scroll down to lock device to prevent accidentally bumping keys while you're in the middle of an activity or in watch mode. Hold the up key again to unlock. You can also press the up or down arrow key from the time of day screen to scroll through the preloaded widgets. Access more data within the widget by pressing the start stop key. Now you can see your average resting heart rate for the last seven days. Now it's time to run. First, head outside and press the start enter key. At first use, the running profile is pre-selected. Another activity profile may be selected by pressing the up key and then using the up and down arrow keys to highlight the desired profile. Press the start enter key again to select. Wait a few moments for your 735 XT to locate satellites. When you see a solid set of GPS status bars at the top of the screen, you're ready to go. With the device fitting snugly just above your wrist bone to optimally position the heart rate sensor, press the Start Enter key to start the timer, and off you go. A quick glance at the screen while you're running will show you the distance traveled, time, and your current pace. 
You can also customize the screen to show whatever optional data fields you prefer. Even more data fields can be downloaded for free from the Connect IQ store. While you run, Garmin's Elevate wrist-based heart rate technology monitors your pulse and shows on an easy-to-read gauge your current heart rate and zone. To stop the timer, press the stop key. If you're just taking a break, select Resume when you're ready to continue. If your run is finished, select Save. The timer will reset and you can then view a summary of your workout. Be a better athlete today than you were yesterday with the 735 XT. The watch that helps you train smarter, run freer, and stay connected from the starting line to the finish line. Dedicated athletes like you are going to love Forerunner 935, the premium GPS running and triathlon watch that's designed to go the distance. In this video, we'll show you how to set up and start using your Forerunner 935. First, let's take a look at the device. On the top left, you'll see the light key which you'll use to control the backlight and also access the controls menu. Hold the light key to access the controls menu which you can use to lock your device, set it to do not disturb mode, and more. Below that are the up and down keys. These help you navigate through the different menus, data screens, and widgets. On the top right is the start-stop key, which, in addition to starting, pausing, and stopping timed activities, you'll use it to make menu selections. Finally, on the bottom right is the back key. Pressing it will return you to the previous screen. Or, during timed activities, press it to mark a lap. When you turn on your device for the first time, you'll be prompted to enter your language preference. Then, it will ask if you want to pair it with your smartphone. If you select Yes, you can pair it and complete device setup through the Garmin Connect mobile app. If you select No, you can complete the setup on your device and pair with the phone later. If you choose to continue setting up your watch without your smartphone, you'll now enter your preferred unit of measurement and time format. Finally, you'll answer a few questions about yourself, such as birth year, height, and weight before setup is complete. Starting on your watch's time of day screen, you can access all of the features built into Forerunner 935. For example, press the up or down key to cycle through preloaded widgets, including heart rate, performance, smart notifications, and more. Remember, you can customize your widget loop by accessing the settings menu. More on that in a minute. You can also hold the up key to access the menu right from the time of day screen. Here you can customize your watch face, access alarms, and other settings. By scrolling down to settings, you can customize the activities and apps list or widget loop and other preferences. Press the start key to bring you to the run home screen. Press the down key to see some of the other activities 935 supports. Or press and hold the up key to access the menu. In the menu, you can update your preferences for the currently selected activity, such as changing data screens or setting up an alert or for your watch in general. To start an outdoor run, just press Start to enter the data screen loop. After that, you'll see the data screens. Your watch will vibrate to let you know when GPS is ready. This normally takes just a few moments. Press the Start key again to begin your activity. During the activity, you can scroll up or down through the data screens to view important stats like distance, time, and pace, as well as your heart rate. When you're finished with your activity, press Stop. From here, you can either restart the timer and continue running, or scroll down to save your activity. After you save, you'll be shown the achievements you've accomplished, such as personal records, or a new VO2 max, your aerobic and anaerobic training effect scores, a suggested recovery time, and a summary of what you just accomplished. For more information on using your Forerunner 935, watch the other videos in this series. This video will guide you through the basics of setting up and using your Forerunner 235 for the first time. Before your first run, you'll want to be sure your watch is fully charged. Just plug the included USB cable into your computer and clip the charger onto your watch. The Forerunner 235 uses sensors to read heart rate at the wrist, giving you the option to run without a heart rate strap. 
To get the most accurate heart rate reading, make sure the watch face is placed above your wrist bone. Secure the band snugly around your wrist. The first time you turn on your watch, it will ask you a few setup questions so you can select your language preference and set up your user profile. Now, let's take a look at the keys and basic functions on your watch. The power key turns the backlight on and off. Press and hold to turn the watch on or off. The key on the upper right with the runner icon starts and stops the timer. It also acts as the enter key when you need to select a menu option or acknowledge a message on screen. Use the lap key on the lower right to manually mark a lap time when running. When the timer is not running, this key functions as a back key to return to a previous screen. On the lower left, the up and down arrow keys are used to scroll through data screens and menu settings. Once you've scrolled to the option you want using the arrow keys, simply press the runner icon key to select it. Your Forerunner uses GPS signals, so you need to be outdoors for it to get satellite reception. When the satellite bars turn green, your watch is locked on and ready to go. Okay, now we're ready to head out for a run. Press the runner icon key to start the timer and get going. The timer screen shows your distance, time, and current pace. Press the down arrow key to see additional data such as your heart rate. To stop the timer, press the runner key. If you're just taking a break and want to keep going, select Resume. When your run's done, press the down arrow key, then press the runner icon key. This saves your run and resets the timer. The summary screen will appear, showing your stats for that run. And if you hit any personal records, like your fastest mile or longest run to date, your watch will show those too. The Forerunner 235 can also be used indoors with its built-in accelerometer to measure pace and distance. To use the accelerometer, simply select the Run Indoor Activity Profile, which, by default, turns off GPS. Indoors or out, if you want to share or compare your workout numbers with friends or family members, you can also pair your Forerunner 235 with your compatible smartphone and gain access to a wide range of smart features, including voice call and text notifications, automatic data uploads for online sharing, live track, and much more. To make that happen, start by downloading the Garmin Connect mobile app onto your smartphone. You'll create an account and accept the user terms. Then, on your Forerunner, go to the main menu. Select Settings, then Bluetooth, then Pair Mobile Device. Then, on your phone, enable Bluetooth and follow the on-screen prompts to complete the pairing process. Once successfully paired, you can use the Garmin Connect mobile app to manage Connect IQ apps, enable audio alerts, and manage other settings on your Forerunner. Forerunner 35 makes it easy to take your running to the next level. Let's learn about the watch's basic functions and get ready for your first run. Start by making sure your watch is fully charged. Now, let's get familiar with the keys. The one on the top left is the power and backlight key. Press it to turn on the backlight. Hold it to power your watch on or off. The back, menu, and lap key on the bottom left has several functions. Starting on the clock screen, press it to access the menu. When navigating menus, Press it to return to the previous page. You can also enable it to mark a lap while the timer is running, or hold it from any widget screen to access the menu. The Start, Stop, and Enter key is on the top right. This key starts and stops the timer during an activity. It's also the key you press to make a selection when you're navigating through menu options. Finally, the down key on the bottom right lets you advance through widgets, data screens, or a list of options. When paired with a compatible smartphone, you can also press and hold it to bring up music controls. When you first turn on your watch, you will be asked a few setup questions. 
Here you can select your time and language preference and set up your user profile. During this time, you'll be given the option to pair your smartphone with Forerunner 35. You'll also want to enter your gender, age, weight, and height for more accurate calorie data. Once setup is complete, you're ready to go for a run. Go outside and press the Start key on the top right. Here, you can scroll through the built-in activity profiles. Select Run Outdoor. Your device will take a moment to acquire a satellite signal. The screen will say Ready when Forerunner 35 has your location. Press the Start key once more to begin the activity. The timer will appear and you're ready to run. During the activity, the timer screen displays your distance, total time, and pace. Press the down key to see screens detailing your heart rate zone, heart rate, calories burned, and more. To stop the timer, press the stop key. If you're just pausing for a break, select resume when you're ready to continue your run. If you're finished, save your run by using the down button to scroll down to the save option and then the enter key to select it. Then you'll see a summary of your run, which includes total time, mileage, average pace, and calories burned. Scroll down to view more stats. If you hit any personal records on a run, like your fastest mile or longest run to date, Forerunner 35 shows those too. To learn more about the great features your Forerunner 35 has to offer, watch the other videos in this series. Garmin Descent Mark I is your partner for exploring worlds of adventure, underwater or topside. In this video, we'll help you get acquainted with your new dive computer and teach you how to access some of its best features. First, let's look at the device. Press and hold the light key to turn the device on. Once it's on, you'll use it to turn the backlight on and off. Or press and hold to bring up the controls menu. Use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the widget loop and menus.
During a dive, you'll also be able to scroll through data screens. Press the Start key to view your list of activities and to prepare to start an activity. This key will also let you choose options while navigating menus. Finally, the Return key. Press it to return to the previous screen. On the back of your device is the wrist-based heart rate sensor. For the most accurate results, wear Descent Mark 1 above your wrist bone. It should be snug but comfortable. Keep in mind that the device must be worn over bare skin in order for the sensor to monitor heart rate. For most accurate results, don't allow the device to bump into other wrist-worn items or the cuffs of your wetsuit or dry suit. The dive computer comes with an extra long band you can wear over a thick exposure suit. With quick fit bands, swapping bands is easy. Now, let's find out how to access your data on the watch. From the watch face, press the up or down key to begin scrolling through the widget loop for quick access to surface interval data, the dive log, smart notifications, compass, steps, heart rate, and more. Descent Mark 1 supports five dive modes, single gas, multi-gas, gauge, apnea, and apnea hunt. You can customize the settings for each mode to suit your needs. Hold the Up key and select Dive Setup if you'd like to make changes. When you want to dive, press the Start key. Scroll through the list of dive modes and select one. If necessary, you can edit dive settings such as gases, water type and alerts, and more by pressing the Down key during the pre-check. Press the Start key. You'll be taken to the surface screens for your selected dive mode. Then, descend to start your dive. The activity timer will start automatically when you reach a depth of 1.2 meters. During your dive, you can press the down key to scroll through the data screens or simply double tap the screen. Press the start key to access relevant menu options. When you return to the surface, the device will automatically stop the timer and save your dive. Thanks for watching. Watch the other videos in this series to learn more about the available dive modes and using your Descent Mark 1. Featuring built-in GPS, more than 15 preloaded activities, and the all-new Garmin Pay, Vivo Active 3 is the smartwatch for your everyday life. In this video, we'll introduce you to your new smartwatch and show you how to start using it. When you first take Vivo Active 3 out of the box, give it a charge. Just plug the included charging cable into the port at the back of the device. Then plug the other end into any USB port. After it's charged, you can complete the easy setup process. It will walk you through how to get your smartwatch up and running and even pair it with your phone. Now, let's take a look at your watch. This is the home screen. You'll notice a button on the side of the watch face. You can press and hold the button to view the controls menu. The controls menu contains shortcuts that let you do things like turn on Do Not Disturb mode, access your Garmin Pay wallet, save your current location, turn the device off, and more. You can swipe up or down to scroll through the widgets, or use the side swipe control. As you do, you'll see at a glance summaries of your daily activity, weather, smart notifications, heart rate, and more. To start an activity, press the button from your home screen. Scroll through the available activities and select one by tapping on the screen. GPS will turn on automatically if you've selected an outdoor activity. Go outside and wait for the device to locate satellites. When it does, you can press the button again to start the timer. At the end of your activity, press the button to stop the timer. When you're done with your activity, tap the Done button on the screen. Then either save or discard it. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Vivo Active 3, check out the other videos in this series.